Oh, what's going on, everyone? I'm not going to put a shirt on. This is this is the shirt I'm wearing. Uh, I don't care. Uh, here, I'll even do that. There, you, uh, more of me. I don't care. Um, I kind of just woke up and was being a douche. Oh, my foot. Uh, and was just yelling at Katrina and all. And I know it's Giselle and Katrina, and I can, t can totally tell all of Espa apart. I'm just trolling Tiffany because of the like, East Asian faces. But anyways, <laughs> I will look. Uh... It's it, it's that thingy with um, what was it? Breckenmeyer. What was that show that they had on Adult Swim back when it was awesome? Robot Chicken. You guys remember Robot Chicken? I, I've told her this before. Every time she like does stupid shit, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the in Inuyasha, no matter what it is. It's actually whether they understand it or not, they're doing what Musashi calls to stab at the face. Like you don't just defeat someone. You defeat someone, and you keep your sword in their face until either they decide to end it themselves, or they like just totally 100% submit. They're like, I'm done. I'll never challenge you again. I am so sorry I ever drew my sword at you. Or they're like, this is never going to end. Whoosh, and they like impale themselves on your sword to stab at the face. But, um, so, in that, I might have to link it. In that uh, robot chicken... The dad is trying to watch um, hockey, and the kid is the little daughter is like, "I want to watch Inuyasha." So that the dad is like, "Inuyasha is the best." Oh my god, Inuyasha, Inuyasha! I'm gonna quit my job and Inuyasha. And just the the daughter is like, "Forget it, dad. You can watch hockey." He's like, "That's right, I can." Uh, but it's awesome. It's awesome. So I, every time Tiffany does something stupid, I just in, Inuyasha it. East Asian faces, better be black, all that bullshit. Whenever she does something stupid, like, I get two views, right? She gets, well, she buys 16.1 million followers, but you know what I'm saying? It means more to her than it does to me. Anyways, that's not what this is about. Um, I guess like since I'm like merging linkedin like my and all the thingies i was doing for literally like seven years are over now and i passed it all and all my shit's cleared so i guess i can use regular shit again so i figured i'd turn on my linkedin and that's supposed to be for professionals although not really it's just a bunch of people like copy and pasting each other's work and then you know trying to monetize it for like five dollars Amongst their peers, I, I honest, the idea of LinkedIn, I to me honestly, it's like everyone who I work with, look at what I do socially. That sounds kind of like not the point, but anyways. Since I'm trying to merge and Happy Thanksgiving, that's why I posted a Kinsuni thing in Majiggies. She like cooks octopus, which is kind of rad. But when you think about how like octopi are probably like advanced species who crash landed on Earth and are stuck in the ocean, it's like whoa, and some other alien world they have like octopuses with advanced technology and they have human farms and they cook us it's crazy anyways i probably will post it on my linkedin later because all that credentials bullshit like i posted my other credentials and all the other bullshit but okay so two things joe biden totally sucks i just want everyone totally like if you didn't think he sucked before with all that vaccine mandate bullshit, you gotta understand he made he's he's makes getting jobs harder. Okay, hit him, love him, he's effective. Grab him by the pussy, all that bullshit. Good old Trump, grab him by the pussy, right? Do you wanna know how many piss tests I had to take under Trump? Goose egg, zero, zero. They were like, you are qualified, you can hack it, come on in. Do all the shit, Space Force, all that bullshit, right? And I can't talk about that. That shit's still getting worked out. It's annoying when you have shit and you know you have shit and then people start playing games. They're like, oh, well, legally we have to wait until the third before we discuss this. Like, fuck you. Anyways. Democracy. Republic. Democracy, my ball sack. Anyways. So Joe Biden makes everything more difficult. So every single time now I start a new job, they want me to take a, allegedly, they want me to take a piss test. And that's no problem because this is all just CBD. But it's just annoying because then you have to like get those special briefs with the pouch, right? And then you have to like order the fucking 
P thingy. It's like in the lab to synthesize and all that bullshit. And you have to like go there and like stand in line and wait and like, oh man, I really have to pee now. And then like, and then all that bullshit. And like, okay, thank you, thanks for, thanks for. I, I told you, like, like, why are they trying to get everyone to come back into the office? Not because it's it actually costs them more money to come into the office because, uh, and it's a remote job, but it's because um, everyone, uh, the people making the money behind the scenes make more money when you go places because then you're using the tolls, you're buying the 7-Eleven shit, you know, all that bullshit, more wear and tear, you're more tired. Again, if you're a trillionaire or a quadrillionaire behind the scenes and you own banks, you don't care about money. You want control. You're like, oh, I want everyone to, they're too happy. I need them to be miserable. Like in all the old school fairy tales and, and, and shit like that and the old fables. It's always like everyone in the town is just doing their own thing and there's some miserly old person up in the hills and they can't be happy. It's like that. It's literally what it is. But anyways, so... um. That's no problem. Like, I've been passing piss tests since I was, like, 16, 17 years old. And that's, this is a minor inconvenience. This is additionally a minor inconvenience. They keep on, because I, uh, it's the stupidest thing ever, uh, Biden's trying to use student loans to keep everyone poor. It's, anyways, that's why I, I mean, I still have some student loans, and I'm not going to pay them off until at least February, but allegedly... But this is also why you do this shit, okay? So when I got my degree and I paid for half of it out of pocket, um, so the, I'm telling you, the, I've done so many background checks. Like this is all they could. They had to, you have to like make this up. It's so annoying. It's like the only reason why this is even a thing is because it's like the government literally was like, no, anytime someone could make could have an easy make it hard on them because the government hates the people. So, one of the uh, reasons why I can easily get new jobs is because, A, just allegedly, cyber has negative unemployment, and there's a skill shortage because there's not enough people with certifications and degrees. Best decision I ever made was not buying Bitcoin, was not buying Ethereum, was not finger-banging Tiffany Wang, or whatever the fuck she wants to say, tell everyone, I'm not going into it. Whatever she says happened, whatever she didn't say, it, whatever didn't she doesn't say it didn't happen, I don't care. All right, she has an image to uphold and all that bullshit. I don't give a fuck. Uh, anyways, so um, none of that was the best thing that ever happened to me. Best thing that ever happened to me was getting my cyber certifications. Because how did I even get to the point where I was finger banging Tiffany Wang as Stephanie was I was showing her my fucking cyber certifications, my wallet thingies that are like, these are, where did I put my wallet? Here it is. Well, I'm not going to show you, but they give you these like wallet sized thingamajiggies. Anyway, so um, blah, 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 blah. So those get updated regularly. And the government has no control over those. Uh, like like EC Council, CompTIA, uh, 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 I, I, IS, ISC Squared, all that bullshit. Those are international. Like like even like if you ch check it out, CompTIA is officially the International Tra Tech Trade Association. So like it's it's like trademen shit. It's like you get a trademen license to go work on boilers. You get a tradesman's license to go work on like you know, an electrician and shit like that. You got to get a tradesman license to work on computers, CompTIA. And then there's degrees, which all the other bullshit, all right? So I went to, allegedly, and I don't want to dox myself, everyone knows who I am now. Thanks, Tiffany. Uh, allegedly, I went to UMGC. All right, got my degree. Um, and the government is always trying to be like, no, double check that motherfucker and make sure he's really got a degree. Because because like they don't want the... Look, it's not a me. Talk to anyone in the cyber field. The government does not want cyber jobs filled. They are going out of their way to not have cyber jobs filled. Hate them, love them, grab them by the pussy. When you were grabbing it, when everyone was getting grabbed by the pussy, every single cyber job was being filled right you put in uncle joe uncle ice cream and all that bullshit and they're going out of their way to not have cyber jobs as a matter of fact allegedly i was one of the one of the four people on a, on a specific team that was uh uh doing all these like 
patch management for the DOE. And then uh, the DOE the head lady was like, we're going to cut the whole department that does that. And then after that, they were trying to say that it was like that um, gas line shortage and the gas shortage. And I was one of the people who was like, no, it's bullshit. They can just put it on manual. As a matter of fact, it's designed that when there's a cyber incident, all those pipes and turbines and whatnot, all those gas things, they automatically fail over to manual. They were trying to like have a reason to like take more of your freedoms. So just like with the Hillary Clinton uh, uh, server in her bathroom, it wasn't a oops. It was designed that way. You had to go out of your way to make it like, again, when I was at, allegedly when I was at Congress, the reason why I'm of the opinion I was getting pushed back. Well, I won't go into that because that's I don't have enough proof to say that or I would have said that on the report. But dog, they were going out of their way, some of them, to have it less secure. They were getting mad at me for patching shit. There wasn't enough licenses, so I was applying beta licenses until we could get new licenses. And I was like, wait a minute, under our subscription, we should have all these extra licenses. And I had to do so much pushback until eventually they had a team meeting. And, oh, look, we found where they all are. You can go ahead and continue to do that shit. And right after I did, right after I started patching all that bullshit, that's when they came out with a report based on some of the findings I found that, oops, we found foreign actors all over the networks and all that bullshit. They're going out of their way to have it not be secure. So one of the ways they're doing that is by forcing everyone to like quadruple check their credentials. Anyways, regardless of that, the whole point of this was because I keep telling you all, get your certifications and get your degrees, okay? They're essentially pissed off because allegedly there's a cyber position that needs to be filled because once it's filled, probably a lot of crazy shit's going to be stopped. And the people in charge of our government don't want that crazy shit to be stopped. So they're like, verify this motherfucker. And I got some email like right now that was like, unless you can verify your degree, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to respond to that email right now with a copy of my diploma. There's something called parchment that verifies these diplomas and whatnot. And when you scroll down to it, it says type of diploma who's issue to the date it was acquired and the date it expires. And this is what it was all getting to expires does not expire. That's the beauty of it all. That's why I tell everyone to get your degrees, your certifications and your degree. I could go into a coma and be out for 10 years. And my, my licenses would expire. I could, I, I could, I could reapply for them and retest for them and all that bullshit but they would expire. My degree never expires. Do you understand that concept? Never expires. Get your certifications and get your degrees. And the funny thing is if you get a certification, they will more than likely pay you to get that degree. I was doing my classes on my downtime. While I was making six figures. That degree basically paid for itself. I mean, no, wait a minute. I got paid to make that degree or whatever the fuck I was. Whatever one sounds better. The point of matter, like, it's a little annoying. It's a little annoying. Under Trump, hate him, love him, lower taxes. Gas was $2 a gallon. This shit never happened. Under Biden, they're constantly, 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 constantly trying to not have people do basic shit that would make the country more secure. It's bullshit. Happy Thanksgiving.